Okay, so this video is going to have a quick look at a new uh, prototype or workflow for importing IFC, that's Open BIM Industry Foundation class files into Visual Arc using the uh, Grasshopper uh, components that Visual Arc have just started releasing and the Geometry Gym developments to import and, uh, and decompose the IFC data. So that uses a combination of native and uh, Grasshopper, uh, native Grasshopper components, Geometry Gym components and Visual Arc components. Some of the native grasshopper ones are here to actually nominate, which is the import in uh, the IFC file to import, uh, and then also to convert that data into the lines of data. Okay, so if we have a look quickly at the output of the grasshopper file conversion, you should see the text data that um, defines the IFC framework for the building information model. Okay, so then the next component here is a geometry gym component which takes those lists of strings and uh, basically recognizes the, the framework and then exports out three things. Uh, any buildings which are composed or contained in that file and then two lists, one of all the elements in that file and the type products or equivalent to a family, um, basically the wall descriptions or styles, windows, doors, slabs, whatever the IFC file might contain. So then there's a couple of other Geometry Gym components here to decompose the building, including the stories. And then here comes the Visual Arc components to start building that type of information into, into the, the Visual Arc plugin. So you can see here a creation of a building from the existing building, and then the building stories and the elevations being uh, converted into visual arc stories. Um, in terms of the actual elements themselves, there's two ways of basically extracting these out depending on how the IFC has them contained. In this particular file, the slab objects are not um, related to a, an overall type or family. So here I'm actually just filtering out the slabs um, and then converting again into the visual art component. So here we can give a thickness. The style is just using the uh, default visual art style at the moment. It's not possible yet to to, to, to generate um, wall styles or slab styles or that type of thing within the Grasshopper plugin, but I understand Asani are working on it um, so that would enable to convert from the IFC into the uh, into the equivalents for visual art. If we have a quick look at the Rhino preview, then uh, we can see the uh, the slabs and also some of the walls and things that we'll look at now. So the walls I'm actually am do have a, a hierarchy or an association to an IFC wall type. So again, I'm filtering the wall types out, uh, and then using some decomposing geometry gym decomposing into the IFC to extract the geometry or the path, the height of the wall. Um, and the relative position to the location curve. Again, that can then be converted into the um, equivalents here for a sunny or visual arc um, and those objects created. Here I'm also then um, getting out the doors and windows. Uh, so again, note that the style is, is, is assuming a default and we can generate the windows and the doors which might exist in that, in that object. Um, at the moment here, actually, the style is set to a custom style. If I set it to a standard, so note at the moment then, because the, this the, isn't the provision to, to nominate the, the depth and the width of the, of the windows, etc. Um, it's just using the, the default version. So really, um, at this point in time, the user still has to manually quickly go in and create an pro appropriate window style. Okay, and then I know in the IFC file that the width is commonly 1385 and then about 2400. Okay, so if I come back to my grasshopper definition. I can now set my new style.
and <clears throat> these windows are, are more <clears throat> similar to the actual size of the uh, the one in the in the IFC file. So then, what also can be done then is it, this can be baked. So we might pick the windows, the doors, the walls, and the slab objects. and bake them. Okay, so if I close my grasshopper definition, Okay, what I'll have now is actually native visual arc objects. Which I could then edit or adjust as I needed to in the using the visual arc tools. So if I take a slab Let's make it quite a bit thicker. Then you can edit so all the, the native attributes and uh, and properties can then be adjusted or edited using the uh, Visual Arc plugin. Okay, well, this is just an introduction or prototype for work thus far. If you're interested, please don't hesitate to get in contact with one of the uh, participating parties.